Everything's upside down and out of order. I bet this mural is where the mechanism is hidden. But this mural... If we keep discussing things like, the difficulty in healing injuries for the spirit apes might be due to this reason, or things are becoming more complicated, I might become like Wang Bro. Long time no see, little Swanji. Have you missed me?
There's also a statue. Rise and fall are the worldly principles, but can the spiritual realm not be an exception with its power? Thinking so much at such a young age, be careful not to lose your hair. Here, take this. It might come in handy if you run into the vine seal again. Scripture of death again? The fox definitely won't let him off that easily. Thanks for your work. You're really good at this. Can I extend an invitation to join the Imperial Shrine their behalf? Huh? Please consider this invitation. There's no way out. There might be a mechanism. Let's have a look around. There's a deep grudge and brutality in that roar. Being sealed for over a hundred years, perhaps it has lost its mind like that shaman. I wish it was just that. I always have this feeling that things aren't as simple as Wang Wei made it sound. The fox said something similar when it saw the mural mechanism before. the way it's been dead quiet everywhere but here it's like a hidden paradise no it's the sound of the beast king watch out there's a deep grudge and brutality in that roar got it sit
Don't enter. It's a mistake. We all made a mistake. The king, Starbloom, the forest. Desecrate the Serira of our ancestors. If you don't give it back, I, the king, will rip you to shreds. Luckily, it's not too late. You both okay? You... Your Majesty. But you should know, for over a hundred years, there hasn't been a moment when I didn't want to tear you into fragments. To devour you, with your flesh and blood, piece by piece. This is the fate that betrayers deserve. Just mere humans, mere sinners, you dare confront the century-old hatred of the Beast King from the spiritual realm. The one who killed in the Starbloom Forest? Such arrogance, not even knowing the true path of the White Ape King's cultivation, yet so full of pride in the spiritual realm. The so-called training with the White Ape Serira is just extracting the spiritual veins of the Starbloom Forest. Didn't I tell you? The forest has been killed. The spirit ruins we see today are nothing but the remains of the Starbloom Forest. And the one who killed the forest? That would be the Beast King standing right before us. Alas, even today, the spirit apes still guard the remains of the forest, knowing nothing about the past. Nine Tails. No wonder you can command the Nine Tails. You even dare to betray the Serira of Ancestors. Imprisoning me is still not enough for you. Extinguishing the hope of our entire clan is still not enough. Manipulating the Nine Tailed? Ha! You're the hopeless one, Beast King. You're the one who crushed the hopes of the Spirit Ape Clan. You're the one who led the Spirit Ape Clan to their current predicament. Was it the Spirit Ape Shaman who informed you? Or had you already figured it out? Just guessing. My brother once said, the Azure Kirin God Tree can understand people's hearts. The Azure Kirin Wood would never accept those with ulterior motives, let alone be manipulated. The decline of the Starbloom Forest in the past was the result of extracting spiritual veins. As the King and Shaman of the Spirit Ape Clan, they knew the truth about training a hundred years ago. 
The Starbloom Forest. It's been the homeland of our clan for generations. Even if we need to restore the glory of our ancestors, how could we ever abandon our home? The day we... You can't see what the Starbloom Forest looks like, can you? Nor the current state of the Spirit Ape Clan. Could you lend me your crystal? Thousands of miles of desolation, all living beings in decline. This is what you have done. Impossible. This can't be. Don't think you can fool me. This is definitely not the Starbloom Forest. The spiritual veins of the Starbloom Forest are abundant. Even if you extract a bit, it wouldn't end up like this. Indeed. It's always easier to deceive yourself than to face the harsh reality. You might as well forget about the Battle of the Temple. Forget how you once utilized the White Ape Serira during that battle. Just keep hiding deep within your seal, keeping your ridiculous hatred. Until your clan has paved the way here with their lives, you cannot walk out stepping on their bones! Clan members? Skeletons. Oh, the cunning Nine-Tailed is still fooling me. I won't believe a single word of these absurdities. The Spirit Ape Clan is the leader of Starbloom. How could it possibly... Your clan... My clansmen are looking for me. The tribesmen, they died for me. What about the others? How are they now? Those Spirit Apes that managed to survive and escape from the Underground Palace were all injured to some extent. The injuries were hard to heal, and there was no medicine available. It was only after Wang Wei treated them with Azure Kirin Leaf that they started to show signs of improvement. This can't be. Our clan's physical strength tops the spiritual realm. How could we even be affected by such a minor injury? No. Could it possibly be? Yeah, just as you thought. It's because of the White Ape Serira. Even now it's still draining their life. Despite everything, they still yearn to return to the Mountain Sea's rank. Even if they can no longer cultivate, even if they're bullied by Ents. The forest's spiritual veins have dried up so our people can't train. The past leader of all spirits is now being pushed around by Ents. I've met Yuan Lin. The current elder of the Spirit Ape Clan, he said they've always believed that you can make it back to the Mountain Sea's rank. They've always held on to the belief that everything will be alright as long as you can make it back to the Starbloom Forest. They're still waiting for your return. What we've sought for a thousand years in the end returns to dust. How could it all be your fault? If there's blame to be had, I'm the one with the deepest sins. Great Shaman, why go to such lengths? Even if you use up all your soul, you can only manage to save his life. He didn't have much time left. The Hundred Year Seal was no small feat. His soul and spirit were already drained. Now it's nothing more than a last light. All thanks to the power of the Azure Kirin Wood. Let him fulfill his final wish, before proceeding to the Soul World, if only he could have fewer regrets.
when sanity fades and memories are lost. For him, perhaps this kind of oblivion is a form of release. Huh? A spirit ape wood carving? No, it seems like it's been mended. Could it possibly be a token from the Mountain Seas rank battle that happened 300 years ago? The king still carries it after all these years. Hey, are you- Do you want to avoid it? I just spotted someone you might not want to meet. So it turns out everything ultimately started because of me. The mistakes of a hundred years finally being made right. And I have you guys to thank for ending all of this. In the end, there's one more thing I need to entrust to you. Please take the king and the white ape Savira to Yuan Lin, and this azure Kirin staff. Inside it, there's the cultivation method of the white ape king from back in the day. This is the spirit ape's thousand-year heritage, not an evil way to extract spirit veins. Great shaman, rest assured, all matters at the white ape temple have been taken care of. Let's head back. Even though... Even though the sanity is no longer there, the emotions can't be wiped away. Perhaps this is the best finale. Let's not talk about this for now. Come on, I bet Yuan Lin is still waiting for us. You have returned. Did you get to see the King and Sarira of the Ancestor? Since the Shaman's staff is here, I guess you guys have already slain that thief Shaman. We're deeply grateful. Is the King well? Can we enter the temple and bring the King back? This, what the Spirit Ape Clan knows, is drastically different from the truth. If I blurt it out, they might be unacceptable, but if I don't say anything... We indeed met Yuan Song and Yuan Hong. We also heard a lot about things from back in the day. The King, Master Shaman, all we've done for over a hundred years has been in vain.
Now that the issue with the White Ape Temple has been sorted out, I gotta ask, what's next for the Spirit Ape Clan? The Azure Kirin Wood has the power to revive. With the Azure Kirin Wooden Staff, we can fix up the Starbloom Forest. However, the process is incredibly lengthy. It might even take thousands years, or more. But there will come a day when the Starbloom Forest will recover its former glory. For thousands of years, the Starbloom Forest couldn't be restored, and our people couldn't continue their training. The children can only struggle to survive like this. Or maybe, the Elder could lead the clan to relocate to Yingling County. The Forest of a Hundred Badgers, right between the Fox Palace and Yingling Town, is a perfect spot for the Spirit Ape Clan to settle. Training in Yingling may indeed give birth to a second White Ape King. Ah, choosing between the importance of our homeland or the goals we've aspired to for thousands of years, it's up to me to make this decision. My frail body lacks the talent of a king. What should I do? Even though Stella Silk Forest has withered like this, it's still our ancestral home. Can't have it both ways. As of today, it's really hard to have it both ways. Mr. Ninetailed, we are willing to relocate to Yingling for cultivation. From now on, we can't return to my hometown. If only we could meet the expectations of our ancestors and return to the Mountain Sea's rank. But I wonder how the familiar of the White Ape ancestor would judge. Spirit Ape's ancestor, if you were still here, how would you have decided? Honoring. In Yingling, kids will have a better life. Focus on their cultivation. Let's say our goodbyes here. I need to return to Yingling. I wish I could stay longer, but this matter involves the spiritual realm. I have to let my brother know. I'll go with you. Now that the journey with the Imperial Shrine has come to an end, I should head back to Star Era. Yo, are you worried about what's gonna happen when you go back? After all, you've been out here on your own for quite a while. Your dad, your mom, and Mr. Liu, they must be really worried about you, huh? Miss Liu from the Liu family would say I failed in my duty to protect you, and then she would be melancholic. So she entrusted her to you. Didn't you claim to be the best at dealing with girls? Isn't that bad? I think it's about time you learned how to please a girl. How about you? Planning to head back to the Adventurers Association? Um, I've already got the Stoneflower species, and I need to fulfill the contract first. Are you guys leaving right away? What? You can't bear to part with me? Don't be like that. It puts me in a tough spot. All right. Without the sadness of parting, how can we appreciate the joy of reunion? Once the affairs of the Fox Palace are settled, this young master will come back to Sulan to hang out with you guys. You're right. Without goodbyes, there would be no reunions. I'm really looking forward to your gifts. 